Just in the first few days of 2020, um, the fires in Australia really went crazy, especially here on Kangaroo Island, which is where we responded to after about a week or two of burning happening, and, and we realized that we really need to get in here to offer our assistance with the wildlife, especially. Know, over around a third of the island has been affected um, severely by the fires and there are really dense populations of different wildlife here including the koalas, kangaroos, wallabies. Those are the animals we're seeing mostly affected. It just seems like the burnt areas go on for miles and so it's a little bit of finding needle in a haystack um, for a lot of these animals. We're pretty deep here now in the forest on this plantation we found this little guy curled up on the forest floor and just approached very quietly. And when I put the towel over him, he really didn't even struggle hardly at all. I think he's very, very weak. You know, he's not really near any water source here. So I'm really glad that we managed to find him and we'll be able to get him the help that he needs now. Every day when we come out, I mean, we see hundreds, even maybe thousands of animals that have been killed, mostly extremely burnt up and incinerated by the fires. Um, some, we're still finding carcasses of animals have died more recently, probably from other factors such as starvation or smoke inhalation. We're trying our best to try to get to those animals ahead of time. It really depends on the situation on how we approach. Um, a lot of them you can still approach as they're watching you and, and just try to keep a steady, calm pace. And again, just working really gently around them to make sure that we're not causing any undue stress. Our ultimate goal is to get them to the vets as soon as possible and anything else that we're doing to manipulate them could cause further stress. So we try to just minimize all of that, keep them safe and quiet and get them to the vets as, as quickly as possible. It's really being able to make a difference for these individual animals and in this particular place for a very special population of koalas within Australia to be able to, to help these guys out. We hope you know, that the majority of them make it, and, uh, they're, but they're getting the best veterinary care that they can get. Being out here on Kangaroo Island and be able to get here so quickly when the need was um, really extreme and to commit long term is something that we wouldn't be able to do without our supporters. So we're so grateful to everybody around the world who has donated or you know shared our work and shared our stories and just given us you know all the resources we need to really to really make a difference here. And so we just want to thank everybody so much.